PS46 is your school authority as districts struggle with how to reopen safely. Today, we're learning more about the reopening plan for DeKalb County. Here's CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm with what the new superintendent is telling the community. It was a virtual town hall meeting with the DeKalb County Commissioner. DeKalb's new school superintendent explained why she's taking a more conservative approach with the school district starting all virtual this school year. She's watching what's happening in Cherokee County, for example, which opened to in-person learning Monday. The school district there is reporting that a first grade student at Hasty Elementary has tested positive for COVID-19. So has an eighth grader at Dean Rusk Middle Middle school. Also, a kindergarten teacher at RM Moore STEM Academy has symptoms but has not gotten a test result back yet. Then look at the backlash from this photo that went viral in Paulding County showing a crowded hallway at North Paulding High School. Students there tell CBS 46 administrators are telling them not to post photos like that without permission, which has angered some people who say it feels like the school district is trying to cover up conditions there. Back here in DeKalb County, here's what the new superintendent Cheryl Watson Harris told her community last night. I'm coming from New York City as the first deputy chancellor um, and which was really the epicenter of, of this uh, pandemic. I have seen exactly what this looks like you know, in the worst case scenario. We had a total of 79 deaths between staff and students, and I do not want that to happen in DeKalb County. She said she'll do everything in her power to make sure that does not happen here. In DeKalb County, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News.